Hello and welcome to Independent VFX. I'm Scott Newman and in this video I'll be showcasing our 3D rifle shell for Element in After Effects. We've put together a 3D rifle shell model that you can use inside Element in After Effects. We wanted to create something that's easy and simple to use so that you can create your own great bullet shell animations that can be lit inside After Effects to match any scene. It's also a great model to use if you want to do a slow motion bullet shell shot like this one. The model is available now on TurboSquid and costs $5. If you're interested in getting this model, then head over to TurboSquid and type independent VFX into their search box and browse our products. Or you can click on the link in the description below this video. So when it comes to bullet shells, there are a lot of options out there. There's stock footage available at different resolutions and frame rates, but a lot of it might not work for the lighting in your scene, or the shot might be too fast or just too slow. There are also loads of 3D models available at different price points. Some are even free, but the quality and accuracy of the model varies, and not all of them are set up to work easily in Element. Sometimes you have to buy a whole model pack just to get the one shell you need for your VFX shot. So we created our rifle shell with all of that in mind. And here's a quick overview of some of the features. We've produced a grungy, battle-worn and distressed shell. Most stock bullet shells are glossy and reflective. It's very easy to take our battle-worn shell and make it glossy and perfect, but it's not so easy to do it the other way around. So for those reasons, we went with a grungy, worn look. On that note, the surface settings are easily tweaked inside Element and you can craft anything from a slightly worn shell through to a perfectly shiny straight out of the box shell. The proportions of our shell are based on a 556 by 45 NATO cartridge, but thanks to Element, the proportions can be tapered easily to look like a 545 by 39 Soviet cartridge. A great little detail is that the primer has the firing pin dent a detail missing from many other 3D bullet shells in stock. Also, the primer can be changed independently of the shell color. And finally, because it's a 3D object and not stock footage, you have full control over the speed and direction of the shell rotation, as well as motion blur or no motion blur. And you can light it inside After Effects to match any scene. So there you have it. I hope you'll consider purchasing this product if you're needing a fast, easy to use rifle shell model to use inside Element in After Effects. Head over to TurboSquid or click on the link below in this video. We'll be bringing out some tutorials to help you get the most out of this model, so make sure you subscribe to Independent VFX to stay updated. Thanks for watching and as always, thanks for your support. I'm Scott Newman for Independent VFX.